By then, little village. So this is where you and Professor Layton live. Welcome to London. Hello, good evening, and go outdoors if you want to. So I should probably explain what just happened. Uh, that was me mushing together bits at the end of the first Professor Layton game. Uh, that Professor Layton game, I almost definitely should be streaming first because it has a lot of context in it required for this game. But I just know it so well that I can basically do the puzzles without having to think about it. So it's it's no longer fun. Uh, I don't think that gave any real major spoilers. It might kind of give, a give away a bit of the ending. But some characters from that bit are going to pop up. They're going to kind of 
reference it it lightly from what I remember. I, I'm not sure if what I remember is correct or not. Uh, we'll find out. Yes, this is the DS one. Uh, this is the second DS one. I think they did four on the DS. Um, and I never got the rest of them because they were on the 3DS and I was never... Yeah, I'm still salty about it. Uh, not gonna lie, this is the bit I've been most nervous about because you have to, like, type all the letters, but, like... No, okay, see? Off to a great start. What? Yes. Oh, I can do this. I had to actually practice typing my name, like, multiple times on the other games just so that I could, like... Nope, okay. We can do this. Yes! <laughs> oh, good. Uh, you might have had to help me with this. I think you helped there me with the first one. There are tales of a box that brings death upon any who dare open it. Tell me, do you think those rumors could be true? Ooh. Oh. I can do that. I can make them switch like that. I'm so happy with it. I'm way too happy with it. <laughs> and the bubbles, they stay consistent. Oh, and I enjoy that the little dumb assistant is called Luke. Uh, for, for reasons. I, 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 wonder, I wonder if the, the context... Ooh. Okay, I don't remember as much of this game as I thought I did. <laughs> okay. <laughs> don't eat any ass, Kevin. Not on stream. Now this is what I call deluxe. Just look at this room. Yes, I can certainly see why some ha, call the Nolan is. Teddy Express a cruise ship on rails. <laughs> Now, don't forget I, I set up my headphones wrong. I'm not getting any audio from them, so I can't system. hear this. I'm really hoping that I downloaded the one with the British accent and not the Americans doing a terrible British accent. Because they made the game, uh, they made a Japanese version, an American version, and a British version. And Japanese is in Japanese, fine, that makes sense. The British version, they got proper British voice actors for who could clearly do a very good accent because, you know, they're from here. And for the American version, they thought that didn't sound right and that the actual British people didn't sound British enough, so they got Americans to do quote-unquote British accents, which are just clearly not. And I'm really hoping so this is the, the right version. story behind the Elysian box anyway? Or will open it die, huh? Hmm, sounds awfully fishy to me. Perhaps so, but we've seen it happen with our very own eyes. The answer is out there, Luke, but I just need to find it. We will. I know it. Yeah. So it's about good boy Professor Layton and his dumb friend Luke trying to solve stuff. There was a box that was rumored to kill anyone who opened it. At first, neither the professor nor I believed it. But all that changed with the arrival of a single letter. Luke, have a look here. Oh, what's that, professor? It's a letter from my I dear can't friend. See, I'm too young and stupid to see things. Is everything all right? It's very story-based at the beginning. As you get into it, My you, dear um... Herschel, knowing you, I imagine you've already <laughs> heard of the relic known as the <laughs> Everything Elysian changed box. when the miscellaneous letter attacked. This strange antique thing is, I know that some lines are read by it. people, and other lines are not. I really need audio for this. <laughs> I'm seeing a problem. Uh... Okay, well that didn't fix it. So we're Truth all gonna die. Told, I'm a bit dubious of the box's this guy is old. Reputation. All of the guys are but old, you know to be fair, except for the dumb one. Once something piques my interest, I simply must get to the bottom of it. 
That's why I'm pleased as punch to tell you that the elusive item is finally in my possession. Yeah. Is is this being read out? I think it was. I was like, I don't know, 10 when I played this. So more, I'm not entirely I'm sure what's going on. Unraveling a great mystery tied to this box. For the moment, let's just say I have a theory. Though I have also been able nervous to prove about bitrate and everything else. Gonna try something. Initially, it was my intention to finish my research before daring to open, but I must confess that my curiosity is simply overpowered. I don't think that helped. In the unlikely event that anything should happen to me, please finish your friend, Andrew Schrader. Andrew Schrader? I have, but wait, would, would almost Kutcher, definitely be nice, but um, I am ago. very far away Wizard from the router, and it's not a good router, so... Yeah. I just can't shake the feeling that something awful has happened. Well, your intuition's usually spot on. I say we head out right away. I do. I'm gonna steal Dad's wires. That's what family is for, right? You steal each other's wires. Bonk. Oh, oh my god, I forgot that I had Pokemon! I'm so excited for Pokemon. I don't even care about Stunfisk, but I'm so excited about Pokemon. Yes! Oh, gorgeous. Perfect. Yes. Cool. Yeah, cool. We're all gonna die. That's the point of the game. Moving on. Please don't tell me getting car keys is a puzzle. Uh, coolsies. Yes. Ah, clicking! Yes. I remember how to do that. Here we are, Professor. Wow. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> I managed to open a drawer. I do know how to move about. I'm sorry, you guys don't need this tutorial. I know how things work. Luke, give me all the cables, please. The Professor is so smart. He knows how to read. They even made stuff for, like, looking out the window. If comfortable- <laughs> if comfortable chairs make you smarter, that is an issue because I am currently just sat on a box. Uh, I don't really have a chair, I have a box. Uh, I'll- you know, I'll take it, but whatever. Yes, that is the way I managed to leave the room. Very clever. We know how to walk places. Cool. Right. Uh, okay, so there's a map. We need a map. I don't remember needing a map. Oh, this is a puzzle. Yeah. Okay. Oh, hydrate. Yes! Ha! Ah! I've planned for this. I don't have an exciting backdrop. Uh, you can see my light being reflected. Um, and I have my classic bowl. Could you see that? I accidentally... That's, that's fine. Um, it's fine, it's just a SIM card. Back to the bottom of the bowl. Uh, okay, good. Right. That's fine. I'm sure that won't be damaged in any way. <laughs> Put something on the TV. Um, I have it. Uh, what do you want on the TV? I, I, I have, um, I leave it on all the time because I want it to just automatically start playing stuff in the morning. So I have the, the normal, the, the ambient. Yes, that's what it's called. I just have basically black images with occasional, like, 
stuff drawn on it. So there is stuff on it. It's just basically a black image. So, you know, that's fun. I could actually do that, to be fair. I'm not sure what- Oh, right, yeah. Picarats are, like, puzzle goods. Sugar, I need to read this. Um, yeah, okay. What's happening? Okay. In the map to Dr. Schrader's home, several pieces in the centre have been cut out. Uh, restore the map by inserting the missing pieces in the correct spots. Cool. Yeah, no, this is not the most difficult start to this. <laughs> Good, I ass- Oh, okay, there's a middle piece. Yeah, it's just... Cool. I mean, I'm gonna brute force it because of course I am. Although, apparently I'm gonna do it by just getting lucky. Because of course I am. Yeah. I. <laughs> Thank you for that, game. It's a gentle start. That was only 10 picarats, which is like the smallest amount you can get. I think it's somewhere between 10 and 5. Um, if you get them first time, you get the full amount, and then it goes down to like 9 tenths of the possible picarats, and then 8 tenths, and then 7 tenths, and you can't get worse than 7 tenths of the potential picarats. Oh! Sure. Or you could read that. I mean, reading is hard, so you don't have to. You feel rage. <laughs> oh, is it? So the first two screens on the solving a puzzle animation are exactly the same, and then you either get like two happy faces or two sad faces, so the first two are always just painful. Yes, we know where we're going because someone cut out squares of our map for some reason. I don't know, I, I think it's set in like Victorian London, but like kind of mushed with modern day London. I, I'm not sure. It's somewhere between the two. M maybe both? Maybe, st I want to say steampunk without the punk, so. This game is steam. Oh, do I have to solve a puzzle to find the flat as well? More moder modern 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 steam is a valve thing. Vic, Vic, uh, you you work on that, Luke. You got this. I'm sure you can think of a name for. It. It's literally another puzzle. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Find Dr. Schrader's window from the details in his letter. In the morning, I often awake to the sound of music drifting in from a nearby flat. Looking outside, I spy a flag fluttering gently outside my window, take a single sip of my tea, and turn my attention to the morning sun. Not many flats in London have a view of the sunrise anymore, you know. Circle the window from which the doctor views the sunrise. Okay. Uh... Steam and valves. Oh! I just got that. <laughs> that took me too long. <laughs> oh, by the way, my face is a void. I just wanted to point out how happy I am that my face is the void. There's a face and then there's no face. Look at it go. Anyway, um, right. I often awake to this. To, what? Is this not a good circle? Uh, nearby music. And you can see the sunrise. Okay, so it's gonna be one of like these. Cause sunrise. Uh... Oh! One of these? Cause if you can see the flag, you have to be like sideways onto it. Um... Maybe? I don't know. I assume music could come from any flat? Maybe- I might not be getting this, but I'm gonna guess. Consider this puzzle solved. I guessed incorrect. Okay, good, so... Well, I suppose that's one possibility eliminated. Well, I've already failed on getting all of the picarats, so that's good. Is this really obvious to anyone else? It's only 15. I- this should be so easy. Wait, wait, wait. 
His own window. I'm very dumb. Okay. Oh, right, welcome to the internet by Bo Burnham. Yes, how did I not immediately think of that? I do want to hear something useful. See that mailbox right over there? Try tapping on it, will you? Yeah, I got a hint coin! You can use hint coins in things like puzzles and whatever. Ever work on a puzzle and get stuck? Yeah, you want a hint? When that happens, you can trade in those shiny hint coins. <clears throat> yeah, tapping on all the suspicious shit. They, they had, they always have a strange fella who tells you that kind of thing. I don't know why. Like, I think it's kind of self-explanatory. But, whatever. Like, just touch things. Just say, like, tell someone to touch things. And in my return, my experience, they will. I don't know. <laughs> the bit rate is not doing well. Andrew, are you home? It's Herschel. Herschel Layton. <laughs> oh dear. A very laggy David isn't ideal. <laughs> well, maybe this will be a practice stream. I can catch everyone up on, or I could just restart. Whatever. I don't know. <laughs> it's locked from the inside. Oh yeah, did he? I. I think this might be a murder mystery, maybe? I don't know. Oh, there's some key- Good! He sent you some keys! Hello, Suki Inkling. I'm so sorry about the bitrate. Let's open a door! How are you on this fine day? Ah! It's another puzzle! Like everything else in this game. Lovely. Which key opens the door? As you might expect, the key won't work. Okay, right. So I gotta try weirder stuff. Cool. It's keys, except it's not keys. I know we have to do something about the Wi-Fi. <laughs> I am very aware of this. I I'm pretty sure, like... You, just you put them in backwards or something? I don't know. I, I'm really bad at opening doors as it is, so I just tend to like shove things in holes and hope they work. Cool! Just leave it to me. It did! <laughs> Alright. Uh. Not really. I just. The hole shoving worked. Thank you, Puzzle and <laughs> Oh. Professor! Yeah. Is he dead? No, I'm true. Oh, he's angry though. How could this have happened? This is terrible. Oh Professor. no. Do you suppose the Elysian box did this to Dr. Strader? I completely forgot there was murder in this. I'm so excited. I don't know, Luke. Yeah, no, I know. I just I haven't been living here wait. very much. So right now we need to notify I haven't police. been bothered. Yes. Notify the police. Ah, hmm? uh, we watched what all of Brooklyn Nine Nine except for the last two episodes yesterday. Um kind oh A train ticket. That explains why they were on a train. It's all linked! It's a train ticket! Look. There's no destination written oh. on this ticket. Have you it's ever a train, seen a train to, to nowhere. It it's me? a train to the medium place. Yes, very strange indeed. I am I streaming? Uh, a ticket with no visible destination was discovered in Doctor Schrader's home. It appears to be for the military experience. Molentary Express, but where exactly is it supposed to take its owner? I do like looking at the like uh, outlines of the other mysteries and like trying to think like what will they be? 
Okay, this was one bit of context that I couldn't put in, but something weird I think is about to happen. Huh? Hey, it's you! Well, Inspector Chum is the name. You two found the body, did you? <laughs> no, Luke, let him go. <laughs> Luke, stop that. That's his face. Listen carefully. <laughs> He's oh my so dumb. Gosh. His face doesn't come He's off. He's so He's dumb. The real deal. <laughs> if the what in the blazes? The last two of the who what? Oh yeah, no, the last two of Brooklyn. I think we're gonna have to watch that tomorrow. <laughs> maybe, maybe not in the place that I currently am. Sure. That's my okay. Place. Yeah. Not so. Piece of <laughs> For context, the villain that looked like Waluigi from the previous game dressed up as Chelmy and convinced everyone he was uh Chelmy so and sorry, yeah. I didn't mean it. I was sure we had another imposter on our hands. We yeah, yeah, imposter. What in the world is this child yeah. talking about? Or I Luke is just a complete and utter idiot. No my apologies for I mean, he is a douche, Allow me to but like, myself. you know, My name is his first Layton. interaction with Professor Layton and a child tries to rip his face off. I feel like that is, like, you're allowed to be in a bad mood after that I'm happens. I'm a professor of archaeology at Gressenheller University. Gressenheller? I had no idea that was where he was professor at. I'm his apprentice, Luke. And I'm the perky little child. Interesting. So if I understand correctly, you keep a child around as an apprentice, <laughs> I do mean, you? In retrospect, it was absolutely logical of Inspector Chelmy to be like, what the fuck is this relationship? This is not a normal thing to do. In truth, he's Professor Layton's apprentice, like I said. Yeah, like it is apprentice, but like adopted well, son really is probably more accurate to their relationship but like just carrying time, some kid time. around with you is a Trail bit path, um, you? interesting but of course but he, he is a bit of a douche yeah Luke, not a word about that ticket to the authorities all right <laughs> luke's angry little face you got it professor he's such a sweet hmm. potato of yes. a boy let's see what do we have here Oh, right, yeah. And like every single Sherlock Holmes ripoff ever, the inspector is massively incompetent. Who was the crime? Self inflicted inspector. I, I should it tell could you be self inflicted door was inspector. Luke and I came in. You're a very clever man. I see. So, this door, the sole entry point in and out of this eighth floor flat, was yes, shut Yes, inspector. Tight. Then the doctor was holed up in here, completely apart from the outside world, yes? Yes, Inspector. That being the case, hmm, yes, I'm sure of it. The yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a murder. Heart. I don't think it was a heart attack. What? How did you come to that conclusion? Use your noodle, laddie. What other explanation could there be? I mean, murder. It it's could have been murder, not a heart attack. And that the door was locked, I don't know Inspector. if it was, actually. I'm just guessing. I mean, it's a game about puzzles. Someone's gonna get killed. Still, I'd hesitate to say that this room was Whoa. completely Hello. off from the outside. <laughs> oh, dip. Cool. Uh, thank you. Uh, yes. Completely closed Is off from the outside. Right? The window Isn't was open. Obvious? Isn't it obvious? quite unusual about Yeah. Place, right? It's as plain as the nose on your face, Inspector. <laughs> I suppose you academics think your fancy degree. I mean, I think it's the hat. Eh? I don't think it's the fancy degree that makes him smart. I'm pretty you, sure nowadays, it's the hat. It seems like everybody and their mum thinks they can do my job. Now, as I was saying, the cause of death was heart failure, plain and simple. And there's what caused it. Okay, he is a douche. Is the, is the, uh... This? Is it suggesting that the dinosaur killed him? Because I think that makes less sense, Inspector. It's a scaled-down model of a Chronosaurus, if I'm not mistaken. A Chronosaurus? I reckon that ugly mug will give anyone nightmares. Here's what probably happened. 
The old fellow turned on a light, took one look at the beast, and then he was murdered right by looking at the stuff in his own house. But this is the doctor's own home. Why would the bones he put up himself scare him? I don't think archaeologists well, can really get scared of their own stuff. Boy. Maybe, maybe they can. I'm not an archaeologist. Well, you're right I, about uh, that. I don't think an archaeologist with a fear of bones would be very unfortunate. Mr. Letton, was it? No. Ah, yes, Leighton. <laughs> I'm looking at the bit rate in fear. Think? I don't like it when it goes to zero. I feel like that is less than it should be. The scenario you paint certainly isn't out of the realm of possibility. But considering the lights were off the light. when we entered the By room, the way, I'm going off the assumption that all of this yet. is being read out. I know that the professor was talking for some time at the beginning of this. If not, I'll read it out. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I don't know what happened, but I, I like went out of Desmame for like a minute and then the audio came through my headphones, but I can't play this without like touching the game. Oh, uh, really? Furthermore, Look around you, Inspector. Doesn't anything strike Doesn't you as odd? What do you mean, Professor? Study your surroundings, Luke. Oh, do we get to look around the crime scene? Oh. With its windows opening out into thin air, eight stories up, and its door securely bolted, you might think this room is inaccessible from the outside. However, a single unusual detail reveals, reveals the truth of what went on in here. Your job is to look around the room by tapping the arrows and finding this detail. Once you've got it, circle the area with the stylus and... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, right. Okay. I, I think it's the inspector. <laughs> I think it must be the inspector. The, 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 the drugs question mark uh oh yeah I think I've seen it I, th I think I remember what it is I'm gonna have another look around I'm pretty sure it's on this screen um maybe uh it's so cute Thank you, game. It could be the professor. It could absolutely be the professor. It could be his porn collection. Nope, okay, it's not the porn collection. Right. Lamp? Well, it lets me circle that. Okay, cool, thank you. Um, yeah, no, it's uh, that. There's two things and that one's torn. That's my guess, but I'm not entirely sure. Just leave it to me. I was entirely sure. I meant I knew that with a hundred percent certainty. That that's what I meant. Yes, the curtain's been ripped. Ooh. Of course. This the window's missing a curtain. Hmm. So it is. But I mean, exactly? why would a man tear off his own curtain and do this specifically? <laughs> It means someone exited the building through this yeah, window. Yeah, they climbed and... across the thing. They're guilty. I say that's a sound theory. Well done. Well by the done, way. my boy. I love Professor Lane so much. Oh, uh, yes. Sound of the pound. Yes. I was just about of course, you were thinking that. exactly that, Shelmy. Shh, Luke. Listen. I don't believe our friend the inspector will be of much help to us. <laughs> Get wrecked. <laughs> I think that's as shady as the professor's ever gonna get. What say you and I conduct a little investigation? Yes, they're going to conduct a little ex uh, the exploration of their own and do some things. Oh boy, another puzzle. It's an old photograph, but it's been torn into so many Is this literally pieces, another puzzle, but it's like a puzzle origin. puzzle? Oh. Uh. Okay, uh, in its current state, it's impossible to make out the contents of the photo. The contents of the photo. Right. Okay, I don't remember hey, how that one resolved idea? itself. You can't just pour it we own it now, Chelmy, fuck off. What is this anyway? Hmm, not that it matters. I'll be We're leaving, that. buddy, don't worry. <laughs> what 
Okay. Thanks, bud. <laughs> Goodbye. Ah, but we're not done. We are done, Luke. Come on. Let's flash forward back to the present. He was in possession of the Elysian box. Hmm. I wonder where it went. Maybe the name of the game has something to do with the game, possibly. I mean, it is a puzzle game, but a jigsaw puzzle? That just feels on the nose. Not that that was a large part of the first game, and literally the first puzzle in this game. Yes, let's get on a train. I'm on a train. Let's go. The trip aboard the Molentary Express is in order. Okay, now we need to find someone stole the box from Dr. Schrader without leaving a single implicating clue. Who could have run off with it? Ooh. Do you suspect we'll find the key to unlocking this mystery on the train? Dr. Schrader did his best to point us towards the Molentary Express, so should something happen to him. Sure is fog on a London morning! <laughs> Crikey, Professor! I know this train will lead us to the answers we seek. Professor Layton and so Luke sped there. away from the city. So English. the secrets that awaited them down those iron tracks. Uh, okay. Yeah, I'm a professor. I'm Dave. Yeah. Uh. I, I think it might actually be that it's modern day London, but the professor is from Victorian times. Gosh, just look at this place, professor. It's so posh, I feel like I should be wearing a monocle. <laughs> He's so dumb. Quite so, Luke. Every de decoration and detail in this room is even more decadent than the last. I'd wager the rest of the train is just as grand. How would you like to go exploring for a bit? Ooh. Oh no, immediate puzzle. Okay. Your bag is wide open and your belongings are scattered everywhere. Oops, I guess they are. I don't know how to close a case, Professor. Silly Professor. You should put your things away. Is this the next one? They, they absolutely happen out of order, by the way. Like, very out of order. Uh, Luke's belongings are all over the place. <laughs> it's a jigsaw puzzle. Yay. <laughs> okay, I d from memory, I, I seem to remember this one actually kind of being a pain. Uh, and I can't rotate things. Okay. That, uh... Why does he have a pan? Why does he have a pan? Why, I mean... Okay, some of this stuff I respect, like a boomerang, every kid needs a boomerang. Every kid needs a book and, um, one of these, I guess. Uh, right. I'm, I'm, I'm hoping stuff goes together. It, it feels like it shouldn't be hard, but I think it is. Hmm. Yeah, no, that doesn't work at all. Okay. Um, right. Square things are not my ally, I don't think. Square things will not help me at all. That doesn't work because the boomerang... Nope, I think this is entirely wrong. Good. I mean, I don't know how to do this other than just, like, move stuff around and hope for the best repeatedly. <laughs> I'm afraid that is going to be my strategy for quite a number of these puzzles. I don't know why, but my brain is telling me that that was along that side. Maybe? It's kinda? I should do the big stuff first. Yeah. That, that makes sense. <laughs> my puzzle skilving, solving... My puzzle solving skills. Have deteriorated. <laughs> I don't know. Free me from 
this box. This is why I am Luke. I, I literally cannot even. I don't know how to make the frickin' thing fit in the frickin' thing. <sighs> cool. Enjoy lurking. I will let you know if I ever manage to fix this stuff. There's so much shit. Why do you- why did you bring this much stuff, Luke? Ooh. Oh, you did get little nightmares too. Oh, I don't- I can't remember if that was the one you already had or a different little nightmares. In, enjoy being kind of scared. Uh, if that's what you like. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna fix it. I'm gonna fix this. I'm gonna fix this. Okay. That makes sense. This makes sense. This doesn't make sense. The bear doesn't make sense. None of this makes sense. Okay, so... This has to go with something that's too tall. Like, too high. So, it must go with the bear. It must go with the bear. It might not go with the bear. Okay. Can it not go with the bear though? I mean it could- oh, oh! Oh, this feels familiar. Come on. Maybe. Never mind. Possibly? Nope. You know what? Come back to that. It's properly annoyed me. You can quit at any time. I don't want to. Bugger off, Professor. I can just bring that back. There is one thing that I really want to get into because it's adorable and I love it. And I know it's in the train. It's like a mini game that you can access at any point within the game. Right, yeah, we need the box, whatever, cool. We're not gonna get there any quicker, bud. Y yeah, we're, g we're gonna train. Who are you? I hear the rooms in the front of the train are so super fancy that the doorknobs are made of gold. But no one's allowed in except for really rich people. This is the wrong voice for this character. So, mister, are you really rich? Because if you are, you can go to the super duper fancy rooms. Super duper fancy rooms, eh? That none but the extremely wealthy can enter. If our young friend is correctly informed, there must be a set of deluxe rooms in the next car. Wow, I'd sure like to see those. I bet they're utterly fantastic. Yes, I suppose. Yeah, if I spare these accommodations for you, I hope my darling boy will be pleased. That reminds me, I believe it's din din time for my sweet baby. I'm off to visit the dining car. Gosh, that lady was just the type I'd expect to see on the Molentary Express. Talk about rich and fancy. Quite. This train is full of many well -heal healed. Healed? Well healed. Okay. Patrons, just like the woman we just met. We must watch our deeds and words here. A formal setting demands formal manners, wouldn't you say? Absolutely, Professor. Carrying on this fight. Okay, people don't like it. Moving on. Professor, why don't we get something to eat? Okay. Uh. Yes, just look at all the stuff there is to eat. Yes, it seems that it's a first class operation right down to the kitchen. Macaroon! Ah, oh, he knows what I'm here for. Oh my, passages in the kitchen, I'm sorry, but we just can't have that. Wearing those dirty clothes of yours in here could earn me an health code violation, you know. I'll have you know that there's nothing at all dirty about our clothes, sir. Say what you like, short stack, but that doesn't change the fact that I'm running a kitchen here. Did you stop to think about what could happen if Icky outside germs made it in here because of you? I see your point. Oh, thank you, stream element. I'm terribly sorry for the intrusion and any worry we may have caused you, good sir. Oh, alright. I'm sorry too, sir. Wait, what's that? <gasps> <laughs> Professor, look at... It looks 
like our friend the cook has been keeping a pet in the kitchen. And to think you were lecturing us about germs. Ooh boy, I guess cat's out of the bag now. Think it's an hamster, not a cat, mate. Or it, I, oh. <laughs> Believe me, I know it's not okay to keep a pet in the kitchen, but well, he's my only friend, see? Furry or not, he's the only person, uh, rodent I've got to talk to here. My, he certainly is generously proportioned, isn't he? You said he's a hamster, yes? That's right, a hamster. The noblest member of the animal kingdom. Man Macaroon's got a point here, hell yeah. See, when I started working here, I needed someone to keep me company, so I brought him. Thing is, I feed him all the table scraps we take back, which makes for a diet a bit, um, rich. He's put on the pounds, and if he doesn't get in shape, it could be really bad for his health. Poor little guy. That's why I wanted to ask something of you, boy. Would you mind holding on to my little friend for a while? When he's here with me, I can't help but feed him. But those scraps of pastry and pasta add up. So you're saying you want us to help him and hold on to him and help him shape up? Sounds like a great idea to me. It does to me too, Luke. Oh, can we keep him? Well, I do believe that helping those in need, rodent or not, is the duty of every true gentleman. We'd be happy to take custody of this hamster for the time being. Yes, you would, Professor! <laughs> the hamsters so much! I love hamsters, they're amazing. Oh, thank you so much. Hearing that is a real load off my shoulders. Yes! Oh, the baby! Oh, what do I call my hamster? Oh, I'm gonna need to give the hamster a name. Oh, one more thing. Since we won't be seeing each other for a while. Please give him this apple, will you? He loves them so. Oh, we got a new apple. Yeah, we collect toys for that as the game goes on and oh, he oh my god. Oh, I'm gonna miss my little guy. Oh, please take good care of him. Don't worry, he's in good hands. Oh, oh what do I call him? Oh, what? <laughs> Ram glider. Um, I mean, sure. Is that the only suggestion? I can't think of anything else. I can only think of Steve. It is that scene from Superstore. I can only think of the name Steve. I think I'm gonna go with Steve. I'm sorry. He can be called Hang Glider, Ham Glider in his spare time, but... I mean, I'm proud of you. I'm gonna go, Steve. I'm glad you can predict the future. <laughs> My baby boy. <laughs> All caps, Steve, yes. Okay, little guy. From now on, anywhere I go, you'll go too. Steve! <laughs> Steve does not look happy about this. Haha! -ha! It appears that your special talent with animals has earned you a new friend, Luke. I think so too, Professor. <laughs> oh, my baby boy. There he is. Yup. Oh, it's so good. And you can like... Yeah. This is all... Yeah. It's majestic. That's what it is. Yeah, we're trying to get the good boy healthy. Unfortunately, we only have the apple right now, but you can connect it with all sorts of cool stuff. You get like, I think there might be a trampoline and a pool and like other food and stuff. And it gets really interesting. And you get more stuff, the more puzzles you do. Come on. I mean, I realize this is... <laughs> oh, look at him go. <laughs> That's a walk. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, he's so thick. Oh, I'm so proud of him. <laughs> I mean, that's literally as far as he gets. I don't, I don't know if we'll be able to here? reach this. Don't hold out on me. I believe in you, Steve. Nope. He can't even see the apple. He's too fat. <laughs> oh, poor baby. Okay. Yes, there's a journal. There's some stuff in there. It's fine. I never really bother. You're right, mate. Yeah, we'll take care of it. It's all good. Cool. Now we should probably talk to people. This man has a puzzle. All the seats are taken. What a pity. Indeed it is. And while you wait, may I interest you in a puzzle? <laughs> I really love the idea of, like, socializing with people. Is just, ah! This, you can't have this thing. Would you like a puzzle instead? Four couples sit elbow to elbow in a crowded dining car. All diners are sitting next to or across from their partners. The Joneses are sitting by the aisle. The mustachioed Mr. O'Connor sits behind, beside his wife. Mr. Lambert sits across from his wife. Okay, so... Uh, where Mrs. Hadley is sitting. Alright. So the Joneses are by the aisle. So, mustachioed Mr. O'Connor is sitting by his wife. I think this is the only guy with a mustache. So, no. Hello, panda. I'm doing puzzles, kind of, with uh, some level of internet collection. <laughs> right, so he sits from his wife. So he's Mr. He sits beside his wife. So, these are Mr. and Mrs. O'Connor. Uh, so these can't be Mr. Lambert, so, yes, the Joneses are sitting by the aisle, so Mr. Lambert sits across from his wife, so, C must be Mrs. Hadley, I think. E, that's an E. It's quite small to me, <laughs> but yeah, that's definitely an E. This should do the trick. Yeah! Destroyed with have it. facts and reasoning. <laughs> I am correct. I sound like a sick Eli. Thank you so much for that. I think that might be kind of accurate, not gonna lie. That's exactly right, sirs! Hooray! Nothing whets the appetite like a hearty puzzle. Oh, and it appears the table has just opened up. Good. We're gonna get food. Oh, I do like Glail. Oh good, our table is finally ready. We'll just be taking our seats then. Madam, please wait just a moment. You see, these passengers have been here much longer. Nonsense! We're not hearing another word of this. You take these people before us. We've been tempted. I do apologize, madam. It's simply that these gentlemen arrived before you. We will not be kept waiting, do you understand? Not a single second. Now, out of our way! Madam. Uh, I know I have multiple balls. I just, uh, frozen ball? Uh. Oh. I was right, okay. Talk about pushy. Uh, I do apologize, sirs. There's a lovely observation deck on the last car of the train. May I suggest that you spend a few minutes there while we prepare a new table for you? No need for apologies, my good man. Your job is not an easy one. We'll go to the deck and return in a bit. Cool. Y they did do that. Thank you, description. Oh, yeah, we just ate, like, camembert for tea. It's like big ass camembert. I didn't realize. I met. I. I under. I. I guessed incorrectly at the amount of camembert that a single human can have. So I bought three full camemberts. Well done, Steph. You got that, Glail. And uh, yes, we're done with the cheese. 
Yeah, apparently that was too much, so we had one camembert between the three of us, and it was absolutely fine. Um, but, you know, now we, we, ha we have two more camemberts. <laughs> so that's great. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> bad, bad, average, fantastic, bad, bad. That's how all of my days go. I do want a scrumptious snack. Luke, shut the fuck up. We want a scrumptious snack. It best be cheese. We got this ritzy dining car on board. Most people get that chow there. With competition like that, it's even hard to sell a cup of tea. I'm so bored. I've got a while until my shift ends, so help me pass the time with this puzzle, would ya? Oh shit, Duke. Hi. Pancake stacks! Pancake stacks! Pancake stacks! Mother flippin' Towers of Hanoi, baby! Oh, this game. Pancake stack. Right. Pancake stack. I am also excited for Duke, but like, I'm. Pancake stacks. Right, okay. So, just to make a point of this, like, I know this was like the first kind of algorithm type thing that I ever wrote, and I was like seven, and I was so excited. And at church, in, like, instead of, you know, talking or listening to Jesus or whatever, I would sit on the mat and then, like, get things in, like, decreasing size, make towers of them, and then do this puzzle. And I'd, I'd do it with, like, 15, uh, quote-unquote pancakes. And, like, oh, it, yes, oh, this puzzle, there's so many pancakes in this game. And, like, yes. Ah, yeah, so uh, you, you, you want to move them onto the red plate, but you can't put any big pancakes on top of smaller pancakes, so it, they have to be in the same kind of order that they're currently in. Uh, I think this can be done in six moves, uh, so <laughs> listening to Jesus, we love listening to Jesus here. <laughs> um, yeah, so if you have an odd number, you always start by moving it onto the goal. Uh, yeah. Yeah, six moves. I realize this doesn't look impressive. Seven moves? Just leave it to that me. couldn't have been done in any less. Could it? Okay. okay. I was very young when I got really nerdy over this puzzle. But like... <sighs> yeah, Towers of Hanoi! Yes! Freaking love this one. This is this is my favorite puzzle from the game. And there's like so many of them. Like at one point there's gonna be like ten freaking pancakes. I'm gonna lose my mind. I freaking love this puzzle. Mm. Yes. Whoa, check out the brain on you, kiddo. So listen, our next stop is this dinky little two cow village called Dropstone, right? There's like nothing there. I sure wish we could stop somewhere more exciting for a change. But I guess that's working a job for you. Sometimes you just have to deal with crippling boredom. Right. I don't know why she has that voice in particular. Oh, hello. Looks like no one's here right now. Lovely. That was interesting. Moving on. Oh, thanks. Oh, duh. Okay, Madam Raz. If you know She-Ra, you know this character. But I don't think she's here. Say, Professor, does that shack seem a little similar to you? Indeed. Unless I'm mistaken, that must be the residence of you-know-who. <laughs> I, uh, uh, thanks? <laughs> oh! Dip! Ah! Oh! I wanted to do that! Ah! Oh, if we had a Towers of Hanoi solver, like no matter how depressed I was last year, I would have freaking done that. Like hell yeah. Yeah, uh, basically puzzle Mad Madam Raz, um, and she lives in this weird little house. She's crazy old puzzle lady. Uh, basically, so, like there will be puzzles on this train that I'll miss, and she looks after those puzzles, so I can go back and redo any puzzles there. My, what a lovely deck. Wow, this is great. Grease feel great. <laughs> I mean, I feel like, oh, my feelings. Uh, my feelings are that I'm not good at acting. <laughs> but I'm having fun with them, and that's what matters, right? I'm having fun with puzzles, 
and humans, and it's great. And it's simply breathtaking scenery, and it's good. I'm filled with despair, but it's fine. The sky is so blue. Cool. Very clever, Luke. I don't, I don't know where I put the cranberry lid. I'm sorry, Eli. I'm, I'm too far away. I'm doing puzzles. I mean, I, it's hard to not remember you, Duke. Goodness, all this talk of pristine scenery. It makes me think of a puzzle. Of course it does. Honk, honk. Ugh, it's so much cheaper than the uwu. What have I done? Okay. Honk, honk. Onk. Onk. Okay, good. Um. Onk. The forest below contain Onk contains four different types of trees. Onk. <laughs> Use your stylus to honk in the forest so that you form four different honk. Each section should contain honk. And all the trees should be honk. But not honk. <laughs> when you have your answer, press submit. Honk, 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 honk. Why did I honk, 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 honk? Why did I make it honk, honk, 20 rat rats? What is wrong with me? Honk, honk, honk. Honk, honk, honk. I'm gonna circle these mother flipping trees. Honk, 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 honk. <laughs> Can you stop honking me, panda? Honk, 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 honk. One of each tree and the trees must be connected. But yeah, okay, cool. I know that there is some of these honk, 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 where. Uh, you have to have it like the same shape, but res per uh, rotated. Uh, you have one. <laughs> you spent. <laughs> okay, I kind of admire that. Not gonna lie. <laughs> you spent all your points on honks. Yeah, that's probably right. Just leave it to me. Yeah. Go me. Piece of cake. <laughs> Can you hear it from my bedroom or from the projector? <laughs> Either way, I'm impressed with myself. Take a moment to admire the gorgeous... That. That's exactly it. Well done. What did you expect, Lady Lex, Professor? I got an IQ of 10! <laughs> like IQ is a real thing. Oh, please don't spend 15,000 points on honking Eli. Please. Oh yeah, the point of the game. <laughs> that was so casual. Like his best friend like died a couple days ago. I only processed the box before this one. He was just like, oh yeah, the box that caused the death of my best friend. Moving on, I will solve this. Yeah, you, you, you should, Professor. I think we might have a cutscene. We don't. Yeah, we know what the train is. Let's investigate. Let's get to it. Okay. Honk, 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 honk. Wow, thank you for that, Maths. Honk, honk. Look at that, someone's left their rubbish here. Honk. Can you believe that? Some people have the worst manners. Honk. Listen here, Luke. A true gentleman always cleans up after himself and others. Should the need arise. What do you say we take care of this mess, honk? Taking out the honk. Honk. No! Honk. No. <laughs> Please. How many honks would that be? <laughs> Please, no, honk. <laughs> Please, no. <laughs> um, honk. Oh, no, honk. I did do this to myself, but I'm filled with regret. Honk. 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 Uh, honk. Uh, honk. I'm just assuming that there's honks at this point. 
I'm very nervous. Uh, yeah, slidey slidey. A classic of the Professor Layton stuff. I struggle with slidey slidey quite a lot, not gonna lie. Um, yeah. Like, it's okay, but it, 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 it's not the easiest. Uh, yep. Not the easiest. Honk. Oh, shit! Sorry, I was- I was- 1,200 honks! Please don't. Oh, no, no. You could get a lot of hydrates with that as well. You could get, like... That divided by five hydrates. You could definitely get me to have the whole box that way. Thank you. Cheers, Duke. And other people. You can't see- you <laughs> There we go. It's not- it's- I- my mic is not helpful for showing off my screen. It does have things on it, I just try and keep it like, basically black so that I can sleep at night. Oh, I- thanks. I don't like physically being complimented. Moving on! Um... Yes. Is this, uh... Honk. Luke, what the fuck? I'm not even gonna... Luke, what the fuck? That's not an okay statement. Take it out of my brain, honk. Uh... Honk. 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 Honk, honk, honk. Why is this my life now? Uh, what am I- how do I do this? Honk. Has anyone else- Has anyone else figured this out? Because I think I may have messed up. Uh, take a break. Oh, okay, good. Thank you. I don't want to have to think about this for the next, like- couple moments. I can't... How do I get the thing out of the thing? This is such classic Professor Layton. There's got to be some way for me to... Of course you've worked it out, Luke! Smart ass. Frickin' second year bullshit. Or oh, ten minutes of... <laughs> I mean, if you wanted that. Um... Sure. Uh, 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 sure, everyone else can honk if you want. I'm not gonna prevent anyone else from honking, it's a free honking. Uh, I haven't figured this out, and I hate- I hate that that might mean that Luke is smarter than me. I will not accept that on any level, at any point in my life. Ever. Just saying. I will get back to this though because I need to destroy him! Okay, uh... Is it something to do with that? And then if we... I think I need to get them out of there, maybe? Possibly? No. Gross. Uh... Okay, yeah. And then if I shove that up there... Maybe that will do- YES! Taking out the trash, so baby! Yeah! A true gentleman leaves no puzzle unsolved. <sighs> well, I got it. I got it. Yes, it looks good. Oh, 29 moves. I may have gone over that slightly. I did get it. I'm a smart boy. <laughs> yes, now there's no trash. Wonderful, isn't it? It's really neat and lovely and tidy and whatever. Okay. I thought something happened here, but... Uh, okay. I want more stuff for my hamster. What the fuck are you? This is a human Goomba! There's nothing like it's a like human Goomba! Spring in your I'm everyone who knows what Mario is. Surely gets exactly what I mean by this. So many of these Pokemon are, are not doing well today. Ah, there's nothing like travel by rail to put a spring in your step. 
I couldn't agree and more. There's no better and way there's to no do better it way to do it than from a train as fine as yours, as yours Mr. Beluga. Mm. Mm. So you know, so you know my name, do but you? Course, but of course, this train, and its, train and its owner have quite a reputation in London. I've seen your I've face, seen your face in the papers, papers more than a few times. Oh, is that the owner? I'm sorry, um... My friend, but I can't say, I, but know I, can't you say I know you as well as you seem to know me. I don't know what this accent is. The name is Herschel Layton. Humba! It's a himbo, but a gumba! A humba! <laughs> he also looks like he eats trash, like a rumba. That's amazing. Humba. <laughs> and I'm so glad two of you thought of that as well. The name is Herschel Layton. I'm a professor of archaeology by trade, but a train enthusiast on the I've side. Heard I've heard tales of this train's grandeur, grandeur so, so I decided, decided it was, was time, time to experience, to experience it first hand. Well, isn't that, well, isn't that something? something? It certainly is a pleasure oh, to meet I hope you, that Mr. worked. Layton it certainly is a pleasure to meet you, Mr. Layton, was oh, it? My. Oh my! Oh my! Just look at how it's gone. I, I really have to run. I didn't do. like meeting you. Cool. Oh, I can go in here now. Nope, this is uh, Granny. What's her face? Cool. What's happening? Why don't we head back to the dining car now, Luke? I've worked up quite an appetite. Yeah, with that puzzle of freaking taking out the trash that took 10 years. Welcome back, sirs. My deepest apologies for the long wait. Let me show you to your seats. Oh, I remember the moustache guy. That was, it disappeared. Not that moustache guy. The other moustache guy. What is happening? Anyway. Food. Time. Eat camembert. Just eat a whole camembert. Do it. Eat the camembert. Oh, there's some sort of commotion. You call this art cuisine? I call it slop. You saying we actually serve this to our customers? I'll remake it m right away. I can't remember. What was his voice? It was like Cockney, wasn't it? But I can't do that now for some reason. I'm thinking about the other guy too much. Like, I'm just his eyes. He's making direct eye contact with me. Uh, get that mess out of my sight this instant. But of course, I'm very sorry to have displeased you so. Look at these vases in that picture! Utterly tacky! Replace them immediately! But sir, that piece is a quintessential work by the world-renowned... Lord of Curry, the Queen of England painted it! Replace it and be quick about it! Y yes, of course, sir. I'll start making the arrangements at once. Hey! It's that same man we saw earlier! I don't think I've ever seen anyone so bossy. And loud. That would be Mr. Beluga, I believe. It's too bad he's a Goomba and not a human. His human outfit is almost convincing. And speaking of nouns, I have a puzzle! Great. Nice! Five Ultra Balls, you must have had a lot of money. You're getting all them balls. Right, yeah, numbers, I know. The drawing is made up of curved lines that intersect to create sections. Do you want to colour the entire canvas so that no... Uh, I know the answer to this, not because of this game, but because I just know the answer. What's the fewest number of colours you can use? Wait, no. Because my initial thought was four, but that I think is for maps. Like if you're doing world maps, because I know there's a game that I really like based around, like trying to fill in the colours so that none of them touch each other and you can only have four colours, so it's kind of a challenge. Um, if you want to colour in the entire canvas so that no, such, no section touches the side of a section with the same colour, what's the fewest number of colours you can use? Okay. Yes. Four is universal. This might be less. Yeah, I don't know. It's either four or three. Um, well done, Panda. Um, yeah, I can use Memo, which is neat. But I can't use Memo with colours. That's for later games. 
Great. That's not very helpful. Thank you for that. Cool. Uh, right. I feel like four being the universal version, they're not gonna make it too tricky. My initial thought was two. There was a few areas that I thought, like with the loop, like I, I could do some kind of things with this with two, but you had to be very careful about what was crossing over. Yeah, I think the answer is gonna be four. Just nice. leave it to me. I'm glad. Huh. <laughs> Looks like I botched that one. I, I did write four, right? <laughs> Three doesn't work on the top left. Um, yeah, but you could have like color A and then color B, color A, color B, color A, color B. That's not the left. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> Ignore that. <laughs> uh, yeah, because it's it's here, the bottom left. It has to be three. It can't be two. I think this is the only area that actually makes it not possible to be two because these three are all directly touching each other. Otherwise, I think it could be two. So I think it's probably three then. See, this is why I need to actually think about puzzles and not here just think. Goes. I've heard this one before. Layton's yeah, I thought top left could be three. Top right definitely could, but um, you know, it, 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 it ignore that. I appreciate filling in the colours there. Thank you, game. Yeah, yeah, Luke got it. Corners are cool. I like corners. They're yummy. After that exhausting puzzle. Let's move on. Sorry to interrupt your game, but that's something important you should know. As you progress through the story, some puzzles will disappear. Granny Riddleton, that's her name. Granny Riddleton, yeah. She's literally Madame Raz. Granny Riddleton's shack. Yeah. Uh. Oh, okay, so I can still do the one with the, um, the, the case that I just couldn't be asked with. Cool. Moving on. That's okay, I also need to get into the Dum Dum Corner. I, I'm really loving just explicitly saying what they're deciding to do. <laughs> Who are you? You look fun. Okay, apparently not. Yes, Eli is generally about um, we- we live in the same house now, so that's fun. Oh, he has a puzzle for me. Yes, the cuisine was delicious, it was very and lovely and you're a nice guy and with menus and puzzle. Yeah, I, I thought I was gonna go there. Luke's big dinner. Every dinner Luke has is big. Now Luke, are you really sure you can eat all of that? You put in quite an order there. No sweat, professor! I'll clean my plate and still have room for more. It's no wonder the professor's concerned, as Luke's order did cost twice what the professor's did. Below you can see all the items they both ordered, as well as the price for each item. Touch the price... Touch the price for each of the items that are part of Luke's order. Okay, so we tick ones that are... I mean... <laughs> this is just how Luke, as in Luke in chat, eats. <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> you should be, you are being personally attacked right now. Um, okay, so uh, we're gonna need to look for what's the total and then divided by the- I mean, I feel like the drinks are pretty clear. Uh, ugh. I'm so tempted to just use a calculator. Okay, 25. 25 at 17. Uh, okay. This is gonna take me- you know what? I'm fine. I can do maths. I know how to count. That's the 42, I think. Uh, and then 58, and then... I'm, I'm working backwards, by the way, like, shoop, 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 because that's easiest. Okay, so 58, 
97 105 okay so 105 uh over there is um I feel like I th I should know this 35 35 okay so loop so pr the professor is going to add up to 35 and also I feel like just looking at like the fanciness of these items is going to make a difference um obviously luke ordered that he's an idiot and obviously the professor ordered tea so we've got 35 okay so 35 8 so 20 <laughs> this is taking me so long 27 for the total of professor's food uh oh which is that okay which means luke ordered that all right This should do the trick. I actually got huh. What the fuck? Wonderful. <laughs> I thought there was gonna be no chance. No way. No way. I got I did numbers like good? I haven't done that since like year eight. <laughs> I must possess quite the intellect. Oh thank you so much. Except Luke would not get a drink like that. Luke wouldn't get either of those drinks. Luke, instead of a drink, would just get another steak. My boy! My sweet little boy! You've got to do something right this instant! Search the entire train! Madam, please calm down so that I can understand the situation. Oh, Inspector Chelney. I had no idea you were on board. Twat. Uh, if it isn't Mr. Layton, what are the chances, eh? Well, enough small talk. <laughs> nice. I have other matters to attend to. Namely, a missing boy. It seems this woman's child has gone off somewhere. I don't suppose you've seen him around? No, I don't believe I've seen any young boys. My little boy wandered off and he hasn't returned yet. I'm simply at my wit's end worrying about him. Maths, indeed. Gentlemen, I demand that you drop whatever it is you're doing and help me find my boy! <laughs> She's been going on like this since the moment I walked in. I understand your concern, madam. My friend and I will be glad to lend you a hand in your search. We'll have the best chance of, re <laughs> of recovering your boy if we set out searching immediately. Sorry, I just, uh... I'm obviously allowing that. I just love that it flags uh, shit hot at numbers. <laughs> As a term. <laughs> I've added the term shit hot. Thank you for that. Also, I absolutely want to catch the devil. By the way, there is a religion based around Kabuto and the other one, the, the two fossils. Yeah. I, I, I appreciate that religion. Yes, that's exactly what I just said. I love Pokemon-based cults. Now go find my boy already. <laughs> it's a Kabuto, and Mommy's very worried about him. It seems the only clues we have left to go on are the shoe they left behind in his name. Tom. I've tried to squeeze more details from the woman, but it's useless. She just keeps demanding I search.
Yeah, I, I've uh, already lost audio. <laughs> a woman in a shoe store pays for a pair of 30 pound, 30 dollar, th I mean, I'm gonna say pounds. It's even a British ruddy with a 50 pound bill. The clerk doesn't have change, so he goes to the shop next door to break the 50 bill. He then gives the woman her change. A while later, the clerk comes next door and comes into the shoe complaining that the bill from the clue shoe clerk was counterfeit. The mortified shoe clerk gives the other shopkeeper a 50 bill of his own in apology. Both the woman with the fake bill and her shoes are gone. In total, how much did the shoe clerk lose in dollars? I hope I'm back. <laughs> um, hmm. um. So she stole a fifty quid pair of shoes, and then gave. No, she stole a 30 thing. Uh, yeah, okay, so she st the shoes were 30, and she gave fake 50, and then... I'm thinking 80. Oh, thank you, stream elements. I think 80. I'm not going to justify this. That's not an 8. I'm just going to put it... I, because I think it's... Nope, okay, I'm very wrong. Right. Ah, uh, well. I suppose yeah, you can't Yeah, fuck you, Professor. Moving on. Yeah, no, my... Con <laughs> she gave... It's... <laughs> so the woman stole 30 quid's worth of shoes and then got a 50 and then got 20 pounds on top of that from her fake 50 she used a fake 50 and therefore got 50 of stuff so the woman stole 50 he then gives 50 of his own to the next door person so that's a hundred right this should do the trick oh my this one is quite formidable. I'm trying, game. <laughs> okay, is this really obvious to anyone else? Okay. So... She pays for a pair of $30 shoes with a $50 bill. Clark doesn't have change, so he goes to break the 50... 50? How come 50? I'm gonna go 50. I also can't. I, I forgot that there was this much maths in it. That I'm so glad it got no from that. To test my theory. Oh! Huh. Wonderful. I hope it explains it. Oh! It was phrasing it with his own money. Damn it. Right, okay. Yeah, so it was only what the woman stole. He got 50 and gave back 50 to the neighbor and then just lost 50. So, okay, that makes sense. That frazzled my brain. Yeah, I'm 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 smart. <laughs> I totally got that. <laughs> Thanks. Tell me thinks you're smart, Julian. <laughs> Enjoy. No one's there. Okay, good. Honk. Oh no. Honk. Oh no. Honk. Ah, honk. 
Okay, cool. We're gonna look at this... Uh... Human? For some time now. <laughs> look at her go. She's just... I mean, I feel like I have met people that look like her, but like... They, they, they went in with the details there. <laughs> I do love the style of this. It does feel kind of anime, which honk, I'm not really used to, but I, I like it. I mean, it might not be anime, I don't know. I haven't watched much anime, but it's what I think of as, as... It makes sense that it would be Japanese. Saturday. <laughs> yeah, I like to display the date. Um, no. Saturday Night Live, obviously. Saturday Night Live. Um, and it's... Don't pull out the microphone! <laughs> um, I forgot that I have to talk into this. Um, yeah, it's Saturday Night Live and it's Donald Glover just doing his thing. Um... <laughs> I like Saturday Night Live, and there's new episodes of it in a week and two days, and I am so excited. I'm so excited. This week is uh, Owen Wilson, and then the week after it's gonna be Kim Kardashian, and what the fuck? That is gonna be a shit show. I am all for it. And then it's Rami Malek, and then it's, I think, Dave Chappelle? I'm pretty sure it was a comedian, but I can't exactly remember who, but I'm very excited for it. And also, Taskmaster came out tonight, and Brooklyn I'm finishing off, and all the shows, and I'm so excited. That's not what I'm doing right now. It's staring at this old woman. Let's go. He could be missing a shoe. No, I don't say that I have. I certainly remember if I'd seen a shoeless little boy. I see. Well, thank you very much. Oh, but while we're on the topic of shoes, maybe you could help me out with a little predicament of my own. Uh, the last two episodes is in like part one and part two. Um, we just saw renewal. Um, yes. Uh, yeah. Oh, if you, if you, if you, if you, if you, if you, if you want someone to show you Saturday Night Live sketches. That I can I can I can I can recommend uh, several hundred. So that's the wrong scene. <laughs> that was the wrong scene. Um, anyway, here is a maze that's made up of shoes. Okay, your task is to travel from start to goal. You may only travel horizontally or vertically in one space at a time, and you must alternate between left and right shoes every step. Also, you may not pass through any of the walls in the maze. Tap each space one at a time to highlight the path you want to take. If you make a misstep, you can deselect that space. This does feel tedious. Good. Great. Fun. Okay. Uh, so, we're gonna have to go there. Um, we're gonna have to go there. And then we could go either way. No, then we're gonna have to go there. Then we're gonna have to go there. Then we're gonna have to go there. Then we're gonna ha have to go there. They just... Uh... Okay. No. What? Ah! Yes. That. That. Yes. Right. Left. Right. Left. Right. Left. Right. Left. Good enough. And now to test my theory. I mean, and there we have it. It was a bit tedious, but thanks, game. Well, color me surprised. You got quite the noodle under that hat, don't you? Why do I do the voices the way I do them? What's wrong with me? Oh, this is back to here. Okay, good. Oh man, am I dog food? Oh, this is where I need to be able to do a perfect Danny sex bang impression. I, I'm uh, gonna turn off the mic for a second. Uh, all of my flatmates will be excited by the name Danny sex bang for miscellaneous reasons. So I'm just gonna scream that and hope that my neighbors don't hate me. 
Well, that was good. What? Oh, hey. Okay, so I snuck into my uncle's room and I borrowed his camera, right? Thing is, then I dropped it. I've been trying to find all the pieces for like an hour, but I've only found one. That's quite a predicament. Yeah, and if word gets out about this wrecked camera, I'm gonna get major flag from the boss man. Whoa, brain flash incoming. Dig this. I'm gonna give you this busted hunk of junk. You do with it what you want. Just get rid of the thing, will ya? Okay, catch you on the flip side. What? Hey, come back here! <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Dang. Do, do you wanna, um, I mean, I, I, I respect- You get what I mean, it's literally Danny Sexbang, though. Cool. I'm gonna have to build a camera. <laughs> Great. <laughs> I can tell you that minigame is not worth it. The hamster minigame and the currently unlocked ones are absolutely worth it. But the camera was kind of dull. Uh, hold it right there, man! Sammy Thunder! His name is Sammy Thunder. Sammy Thunder says entrance to that car is for VIPs only, capiche? Now I know you'd like to sneak a peek, but the whole car is booked, so that's a no-go. About the kind of person who can rent out the whole car must be some kind of super tycoon. Indeed. I wonder what it must be like to have that much room to yourself on a train of this caliber. Sammy Thunder! Well, I suppose for now you'll just have to keep wondering, eh, Professor? <laughs> hmm. Right, moving on. I'm just gonna kind of run. I, I do happen to already know where it is, so. A Cleppy! Oh. Hey, look! It's person who I hope you watch the beginning cutscenes for, for no particular reason. Oh. Is everything alright, miss? I'm just fine, thank you. Excuse me. Hang on. Uh, Poke catch. Ah, oh, there was a thing, it was, I think it was called a clone ball? Basically, I want many of these. Eat my ass, Cleffy. <laughs> Say, does that lady seem kind of familiar to you? Hmm, yes, now that you mention it, something about her did seem rather familiar. Oh, who the- who, what? Oh, passenger. Sorry, sir. I didn't mean to get in the way of you using the deck. You're not a passenger, too? Nah, I'm just a mechanic on the train. I ride along with her in case something goes funny. But as you might figure, she's as smooth as butter. Makes my job pretty easy. In fact, I got so much free time that I started making up puzzles. Wanna take one for a test drive? Yes. Yes, I do. After years of bad business, a local zoo has finally run out of money to feed its animals. Bellies rumbling from days with no food, the animals make a plan to escape the zoo. After prying open the bars on their rusted cages, all the animals attempt to find their way through the maze-like walls of the zoo to the exit. Tap the picture of the animal you think made it safely out of the zoo, and then tap submit to remember, to answer. Just remember, an animal shows its true colours in the wild. Okay. Right. I'm guessing it's like a predator versus prey type thing. Um. Hmm. It's nice actually drinking water. I need people to encourage me to drink water in my daily life. Right. Uh. Okay, so I think the key is you have to like do the paths and then... Okay, in order for the rabbit to get out, it has to go past the lion. That's just a thing. So the rabbit's going to die. Is it animal or animals? Um, okay, it can be multiple animals. Um, bearing him, oh, oh, the, the leopard's fucked, all right. Um, Cause the leopard's just like, Ooh, the bit can't get out. Nope, I'm dead. Okay, bye leopard. You... okay. You eat the rabbit, first off, obviously. Um, 
I can't get out that way. The lion can get out. Okay, so the lion can get out. Uh, you... Uh, get trapped up that direction. Okay, the panda is fucked. Um, that direction, though... Also fucked. Okay. The giraffe... Uh, uh, nope. Um, yeah, only the lion. <laughs> okay. Consider this puzzle well, solved. Well, good for yeah. it, I suppose. Huh. That doesn't Wonderful. feel nice. That doesn't feel safe. Yeah. Cool. Poor thing. I feel really bad for the- I feel bad for the rabbit. The rest of them I feel like are just gonna get caught and get put back in captivity. Thank you for more water. Yum! Ah, no, 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 okay. Right. Nom 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 nom. Mm, delicious water. Hey, what's the big idea? Don't you know it's hard to pass time with puzzles when you solve them that fast? Okay. Well, I could have sworn that Tom was here. Uh, welcome aboard, sirs. May I interest you in a refreshing beverage or scrumptious snack? Sorry, miss, but right now we're busy searching for a small child. Have you seen a young boy wandering by himself around here? A little boy, huh? Nope, sorry mister, but that doesn't ring any bells. You have spicy water! Angry water? What kind of, uh, spicy and or angry water? Oh, oh, what happened? Did he get lost on the train? Yes, unfortunately we haven't been able to track down the missing tot. You know, I probably shouldn't spread rumours, but hey, I've got nothing else to do. Did you know that there's a weird old lady staying in this car? What if she kidnapped the little one and has him stowed away in the room? I know it's probably not true, but what if? She's just so bizarro, I can't help but think in there. But I could get in trouble for spreading rumors about patrons, so forget I said anything, okay? Fireballs. <laughs> nice. I think I had some of that. I think I liked it. Yeah. Very nice spicy water. Strange older lady, huh? I wonder if I've ever seen her around. Your guess is as good as mine, Luke. But it certainly does make one wonder. Uh... Hello, it's Sunny Boy. Did we ever get a knock on the head and goose is bumpy from a terrifyingly hard puzzle? But have no fear. The beautiful and clairvoyant Granny Riddleton stands before you ready to help. Love Cinnamon. I should have known. Who else could this tiny house belong to? Hey, wait a second. What are you doing here anyway? So you've heard of me, hey, Jordy. Good to know I'm still a hit with the young uns. <laughs> what do you mean? Of course I've heard of you. We met before, remember? In that game that everyone else here has played. <laughs> nope, I suspect you've got the wrong granny, boy. I've never seen you before. But you're here now, so that means you want my spiel, right? Uh, I'm not really. Oh, no need to be so modest. <laughs> I don't know what's happening to her voice. It'll settle, it'll settle. I just feel like she's every flamboyant voice in the world in one woman. Allow me to thank you for visiting me by bestowing a good bit of information on you. My speciality, you see, is puzzles! Puzzles people forget about, puzzles people miss. Surely you've had a few of those, eh? No need to turn red, it happens to the best of us. What do I do, you see, is I take those poor lost little puzzles and invite them to stay with me. I imagine any puzzles you left behind have found their way to my hut as well, if you want to say hello. If my hut is empty, then you clever lads will just have to go out there and find more puzzles. Now, why don't you take a peek inside the hut and see what's there? Mm, no. Actually, I can't remember what pictures and poison are, is. I, this one appeals to me. Yeah, you gotta try all that whiskey first. <laughs> Amazing names. Um, 
Two men, known here as one and two, are playing a strange game. First, both men put their empty pitchers on the table. Next, a judge brings a pitcher filled with purple poison and places it in either spot A or spot B. The judge then starts shifting the poison from one pitcher to any adjacent pitcher over and over. After moving the liquid 55 times, the owner of the poison-filled pitcher must drink its contents. If you were the judge and secretly wanted one to win, one to win so one to not die, would you place the poison-filled pitcher down in spot A or spot B? So 55 times, so it's going to move odd number of times, so A, right? I mean, there's only... It's 50-50. Are you kidding? <laughs> Looks like I botched that one. <laughs> I um I I I uh Oh, okay. Yep, yep, yep. It punished me for that one. Okay, it's B. Why is it B? Hmm. Let's see if this works. Piece of cake. Wait, that's three pictures? Oh, what? The liquid changes pictures 55 times, which is an odd number of pores. Regardless of where you set down your picture, whichever picture sits in the middle of the three will always contain the poison after an odd number of pores. Therefore, in order to have one to win, the poison-filled pitcher must go in spot B, because doing so will put two's pitcher in the middle. Oh. Uh. Okay. Coolsies. I might do this one then. Maybe call it a day? This is only 10 picarats though, so it might not be juicy. Oh, do we want to find Tom, actually? That might be worth it. After trying to fold a strip of paper in half, you notice that one side of the folded strip is one inch longer than the other. Determined to get it right, you fold the strip again, only to discover that now the other end of the folded strip is an inch longer than the other. Now you've made two folds along your strip, figure out what the distance between the two folds is when expressed in tenths of an inch. Ten, ten? Half. Ten, five. Uh... <laughs> okay, so... Yeah, okay. So, say... Right. Say it's five long, and you've split it into two and three. And then the next time, you split it into three and two. The distance between the two folds is one. So ten. It's either 10 or 5, or 20, uh, yeah, I think it, 10. This should do the trick. Yeah! Oh! A true gentleman leaves no cool. puzzle Cool, I mean, it was only 10 picarats, so. But, you know, it, yeah. Cool. I did it! 
Hooray, I did all the puzzles. Yes, I think maybe Tom and then, yeah, I don't know. Or when the internet next dies, I suppose. Uh, who's in here? <laughs> Baby boy. <laughs> How can she sleep at a time like this? I imagine she tired herself out fretting over her child's disappearance. Come, Luke. The sooner we find the lad, the, poor, the sooner we can put the poor lady at ease. Okay. What's this? Something's fallen behind those boxes. Whoa! It appears to be a cap of some sort, but I don't think I can reach it from here. Maybe the cap belongs to Tom. We certainly shouldn't rule out the possibility. Oh hey, since we're on the subject- <laughs> For fuck's sake. Okay. A preschool teacher had everyone in her class close their eyes. When none of the students were looking, she slipped caps onto their heads and then said, Okay everyone, open your eyes and look at the hats all of your friends are wearing. Whoever sees four or more people wearing red hats gets a red balloon, and whoever doesn't gets a blue balloon. In a class of ten children, only some of the kids got a red balloon. Knowing this, how many went home with a red balloon? Okay, so I think that must mean that there was only four red hats. So there was four red hats, those four children didn't see the hats and therefore got a blue balloon. So there's six. 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 This should do the trick. Yes! Ah! <laughs> a true gentleman leaves no oh, puzzle cool. unsolved. I'm always so nervous whenever I think of one quite quickly. Ah, oh, I mean, what kind of teacher is that? That's completely insane, but cool. Rats! I was sure I could stump you with that one. For 25 picker rats, Luke. What the fuck was that? Oh, right, yeah. Better get back to the missing child. How do you reckon Tom got into such a small place? Uh, I don't know. Oh boy, another puzzle. Phew. That was bad even for Mr. Beluga. You mean he always blows up at you like that? Well, you know, me or someone else on the staff. The boss can be real hard to please. That's awful. You guys shouldn't put, have to put up with him bullying you like that. Well, the boss does have a point. After all, he made this railway what it is. He always says that first class train deserves first class atmosphere. Heck, even the plates that we use in dining car are special order. The workmanship's amazing. Check out the details on the back. Oh, f <laughs> Why is there so many puzzles? <laughs> I get it, but like, sometimes they're just in the weirdest place. <laughs> okay, um, the plate in front of you bears a mark made up of two nesting equilateral triangles. Can you puzzle out how many times bigger the large triangle is when compared to the smaller one. Um... <laughs> yes, because because it's on a circle, it's literally like a Sapinski, but a, a level one Sapinski, but the middle triangle has been rotated, so it's a quarter of the size. Yeah. Um, how many times bigger? So four. Not nine. Yeah. Just leave it to me. I I like Sapinski's quite a lot. Strikes again. I like them so much. They're so good. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Gosh, you've really got an eye for this sort of thing. What exactly do you think Mr. Beluga doesn't like about these plates? You got me there. I guess rich people are just fickle. 
cool. I'm gonna check my box for hamster. There is still only apple. <laughs> oh, my beautiful thick boy. So good at <laughs> I love you, Steve. I also, I'm redoing uh, Pokemon Sword Shield just for myself, and I called my Sobble Steve. I don't know why. It's just on my mind. I can't think of any other names. Glenn has destroyed my ability to think of any other name. Glenn, that's a name. Come on, hamster, you can do it. Pave the way, put your back into it. Show us why, show us how. Look at the camera, look at it now. Yes, I know, build thing, build thing. Yes, part. The thing. I don't know. It's kind of hard to do this when you don't have all the parts. But that looks kind of cornery to me. So I'll put it there. Yeah, the journal is, um... Yes, today I received a letter. I wonder if everything is okay. Oh no, he's fucking dead. Now we're on a train. Ah, there was some asshole in the dining car. Ah, we went and looked outside. I liked it. Oh no, there's a child missing. Moving on. Yeah. The puzzle index is neat. You just kind of return. You can see all the numbers. So like, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We don't have 9. So, somewhere between Luke's big dinner and a work of art is something mysterious. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? Yeah, I really like the last puzzle. I like it a lot. Or the last... The thing in here with a question mark. Um, yeah. It's good. It's really good. I spent a lot of time when I was younger on that. Just having a good time with it. <laughs> that and the hamster. I think in terms of the mini games, this was my favourite game. Unfortunately, in every other sense, this is probably my least favourite Professor Layton game. But, you know. hey oh. It's a good time. I, I'd say my favourite one is probably the one that comes after this game. It made me cry. And it will make me cry again. It's so good. The music is just like... Ugh. 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 It's so good. And there's a live version of one of the songs in that, which I'm gonna like open the stream with next time instead of the video thing. Um, which is like prettiest song it's it's so good i did say to my ex like if we get married i want to dance to this song and then he was just like no highway to hell or some shit but i like professor layton and i really like this song so hopefully i'll be streaming next week i am doing uni at some point i think probably hopefully maybe probably yeah <laughs> Um, it might be a different day, depending on what my timetable looks like, but I have every intention of carrying on this game. I love Professor Layton. Um, yes. Thank people for exist. Um, I don't know who to raid. I don't know anyone. I'm gonna see if anyone I'm following is stream- Oh! <laughs> I know exactly who I'm raiding. <laughs> Oh, I'm sure this will be appreciated. <laughs> Wait, is it Slash? Yeah, okay, it's Slash. Ignore me. I'm <laughs> just raiding Pokemon. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Bye, everyone. <laughs>